Hello and welcome to my first look at Manor Lords, the upcoming medieval city building sim with awesome combat. Well, there won't be any of that today in the demo version that's available on the Steam Next um, kind of showcase. So from the 3rd of October through the to the 10th of October, loads of demos for lots of upcoming games, of which Manor Lord is one of them. Um, so we're going to check it all out together for the first time, streaming and recording at the same time. I'm super hyped for this game. Every time I've seen the developer tweet out some screenshots or some little video clips of some of the mechanics and features in this game, I'm just like, um, I, I cannot wait to show you guys combat at some point in a future either demo or early access if that's what they do, because it looks insane. Like, highly recommend checking out the Man Lords on on Steam and check out their Twitter as well, because there's some awesome clips of uh, combat mechanics. Also on their YouTube channel, I believe as well. They've, they've got this really cool one where they show off different like units moving and holding information. It's insane. Um, and that's just the combat side. The, the the management, the economy, the industry side is just as like important, crucial, and awesome looking from what I've seen so far. So let's let's drive straight on in uh, to a new game. Uh, settings wise, there we go. Everything is. Let's just whack everything on ultra. But say everything is on ultra. Not not yet. Now it is. Return. I really like this minimal UI. Getting some Crusader Kings vibes. So, new game. Eventually, there'll be the Robber Baron. An infamous knight is residing in a castle up north. Build up your strength and when ready, lay claim to his lands and defeat him in battle. Realm Conquest. Due to a tangled history, there are multiple claimants to these disputed lands. Use economy, diplomacy, and warfare to your advantage to become the sole ruler or rise to prosperity. You are the first lord to settle these lands. Start from nothing and build a prosperous medieval city. Huzzah! So that's obviously the one that's in the demo today. <gasps> we get to choose our banner. Well, obviously, it's going to be a regal line, isn't it? Um, are we going to go Lannister here? I feel like we're going Lannister. There's our there's our banner. There's the Tyrion. Let's continue. Starting supply standard. Approval balanced. Weather effects balanced. That sounds perfectly balanced. Yeah, welcome to the stream where I just spent like two hours uh making making my custom banner a new message sire <laughs> establishing a foothold there is a fire at the heart of every settlement a bastion of safety warmth and light against the darkness of the world and those white walkers. No, wait, it's not Game of Thrones. Um, on this cold spring morning, your men blow on their fingertips, uh, their breath clouding the air. But there is plenty of work to warm them. As the toil begins, you can almost imagine, uh, hear the ring of anvils, the toiling of bell, no, toiling, the tolling of bells, and the cries of the marketplace. Possibilities. In the distance, fog lingers in the hollows of the land. The world is quiet, watchful, waiting for you to choose which of those to make real. Objectives. Construct a granary, construct a logging camp, construct a forger's hut, and construct a storehouse. And it looks like we have a year to do it. Yes, 365 days. Okay, establish a foothold. But let's just let's just pause briefly. And let's just admire this beautiful game. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Is this done in Unreal Engine? But this is just gorgeous. Look at my happy little peasants. You know the little fireplace? There's <gasps> no oval. There's no Tomorrow, oval. Find a new home or town. Can I? Yeah, there's no, there's no military recruitment in this one. Um, I was like, can I? Heaven shine down and grow the land. I was hoping I could maybe like click on him and like custom name him. Can I name the cow? Please say the cow is called Betsy. And if it's not, how do I name the cow Betsy? That's a nice cow. Itching post. 
Yeah, it's mainly this game as well is mainly at one one key dev working on it. He's done all the coding and like lots of I think he's done like he's put his hand to a bit of everything really. But I know he's definitely he's worked he's reached out and he's worked with other like coders, artists and things like that to get it um kind of progressing along. But yeah, he's done the heavy lifting for a very, very long time. Look, I mean look at this map as well. This is something that I love as well. This is the region view. So you conquer or claim different like estates uh bits and pieces kind of almost like feels like stronghold-esque then you can trade between them um uh, region view shows you which regions are uh under whose control you can claim other regions when you gain enough influence claims can be refuted or if a war is declared blocked by the presence of an enemy army conquest is locked in the demo which i can understand obviously you know like baby steps they want to show off some of the the core and because the game isn't all about war um it's about managing your economy building up your city and industry and everything else but boy oh boy do i want to show you guys some uh some combat at some point do you know people select their building oh cool 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 yeah i guess homeless tents yeah they're not really assigned to anyone amazing can't wait do that that's that's insane uh, yeah, the, the demo as well is out on Steam right now. So if you want to dive in and play it yourself, you can. Yeah, it's available for the next week. Right. Um, let's unpause. Expose storage. Let's build something then. Should we build a logging camp? Oh, God, look at this. Oh, I'll just pause the game again. Oh, no, hang on. I don't know what I'm doing. Logging camp. Workers fell nearby trees to produce timber for construction. Workers chop down nearby trees to produce firewood. And we've got oh, roads. Oh, wow. Look at that little nice little video in there. Some workers can use handcarts to transport goods more efficiently up to 10 items at a time. Um, to enable handcart transportation, road points from both uh, buildings have to be connected by road network. Okay. Oh, so there we go. There's the, the snap to bits i say we don't even have a we do have a road from like here don't we what's that an iron deposit there's wild animals over there is that even in my land though no i've got some over here i think it's in my land yeah there's no release date yet i think i think they're aiming for next year now um right, let's just get how much how much have we got that's my families number of months before supplies run out we've got some food fuel timber so let's get the logging camp going if we pop it there we won't have to uproot any trees hold to rotate oh like that look at that and you can see all the road points to snap it to i'm gonna i don't know if this is the right place for it i'm just gonna pop it there let's go, unassigned peasants automatically work on a construction Oh, as well, the seasons also dictate berry deposits regrow, plowing for quick summer harvest as possible, crops harvest in late summer, September to November, end of harvest, plowing and sowing crops recommended for maximum yield next summer. So you've got to choose the right time to to, to, to harvest, to plow. Berries start disappearing. Berry deposits vanish. Firewood is required for survival. Uh, sheep shearing forbidden. Chance of getting ill. Can I stay with his drink? Yeah, you can, mate. You can stay with his drink. Um, homeless families. Exposed food. Yeah, so I should build a... Storage? I should build a granary, shouldn't I? Or I just need to build it and then they'll, they'll put it in the right place, I guess? Or do I just need to build a road network? A big hammer icon.
Messy roads. I doth not care. I love as well how the animations for constructing, for just how everyone interacts with it all. That's great. We've just been moved to a granary. It'll be damaged by the weather. Okay. So I think we're going to still need... Oh, but that's for firewood. That's for logging camp. It's for timber. So that's fine. Um, so storehouse. Hitching post. We've got the hitching post. Let's get the granary. Granary needed, my lord. Um, where do we want to put my granary? Where shall I put my granary, my lord? Um, let's have the granary. Let's have the granary here. Let's spin. Yeah, about about there. Come on, people, get to work. Because then we can build a nice little road. There we go. And then we also needed some a storehouse. So it feels like having the storehouse up here might not be a terrible idea. Get to work, lads. Now you. There's no hobble. Tomorrow, find a new home or town. Yeah, hang on. I'll build your hovel. Village life. Burbage plot. Provides living space for one family. How many families do we have? Unassigned families. Um, total population. Five peasants. Five homeless families. Market area. Can put a well in. It's placed on a water vein. Up oh, there we go. That's cool. That's really cool that it's that detailed. You've got to place it where the water runs. It's not just slap it anywhere and you're all good. Flexible plots. Some buildings have flexible uh, borders. Place four points. Designate an area. The cursor will snap to the roads and other plots to try and create an organic shape. You can leave more space for future expansion upgrades. Okay. Um, let's let's have Have that run down there and then have another one run down there. And have them run, yeah, parallel to that one there. Yeah, that's nice. Um, they've done well. They've got one big plot. It's fine. Needs more timber. I'm already deeply in love with this game. That was taking a while to build, didn't it? We have given them quite a few different jobs, though, haven't we? What we got in here? We got some bread, firewood, homeless tents. A little village comes to life. But I'm just going to spend forever just like zooming around my little village. Oh, this reminds me of this reminds me very much of like zooming into say like Kingdom Come Deliverance. Imagine like wandering through these winding paths. Right, yeah, let's uh let's fast forward because it's taken a wee while. Oh, good old good old Betsy the cow. Logging camp completed. Sign oh, sign workers. Add a worker. Add a worker. Add a worker. Oh yeah, because we had two, we had we had five on a sign total, and I can go to people, and I can go <gasps> Thomas. Okay, who wants to be a who wants to be a woodworker? Is it this sun? Or Thomas. Fire above. Thomas the woodworker. Fuzzy Joe wants to be a woodworker. I lo I'm loving the hat. 
That is fine. Okay. Where are you? Thomas will now be... Fuzzy Joe. Gray's hand wants to chop wood. I love games as well where you can name people. Because that's just perfect for just YouTube and Twitch and content creation. What is that? Oh! How did it know? <laughs> How did it know this is what I look like? Look. Look at my beard. I'm visiting my village. Okay, this is officially the best game ever. Oh my god, I can run around. Oh my days. Surely this is like the... If you can do this just wandering around, surely this is the build up to being able to do like first person combat or not first person combat, um, but like being able to zoom in and control one unit for combat and stuff. Look at my cape flow. I can just walk around or I can run around. Look at me in my fancy hat. That is actually amazing. That is insane. That is just amazing, yeah. Who also wanted to be a um a woodcutter? Was it um North Kalen? I think Tom Reese got in there first, I'm afraid. There you go. We'll 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 have more. We'll have more use for you. Can you, can, you, can you be the cow? Unfortunately, I don't think we can name the cow, which I, I think is like the key bit of feedback we need uh, feedback we need to give the devs here. Uh, you need to be able to name the cow. Hang on, did that actually did that actually just tell me the cow's name? No, it's just called Guidox. Heaven shine down and grow the land. Unfortunately, you cannot name the cow. Come on, laddie. Come on. Oh, no. It's called Albert. How do I name... How do I rename you? It can be done. I'm going to say it's an ox, not a cow. My apologies. Mr. Ox. It's a fancy name for an ox. I'm not going to lie. There's names for it, so it can be done. Just don't know how yet. Need more timber. More timber. Oh, is is Albrecht is a cracking name for a, for an ox, definitely. But um, I want to name you guys my cow, my oxes and cows. I'm assuming we can get cows eventually as well. Just look at the scenery. Wouldn't you like to live here? Oh, look at it go. Look at the building as well. You can see them work working away on the timber, and slowly but surely building up. Absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. I think this one just claims the best looking city sim ever. I heard a tree being felled. That is amazing. We need to build some storage, aren't we? I've tried doing that. They're working on it. They're working on it. I need the house finished as well. The Burbage plot. The granary is ready, my lord. Add a worker. I'm hoping that means they're going to go grab the supplies and put them in there. Who is in here? Who wants to be the granary worker? <laughs> Devs make it happen. I want to be an ox. <laughs> That's Mr. Barcode Man. SM, do you want to look after the food? SM, you're in charge of the food. Don't eat it all. It's going to all be eaten, isn't it? 
Check this sun or fire above. So you've got the granary, the logging camp's done. We need a forger's heart. We actually didn't need a house yet. That's fine. We do have we got some we've got plenty of timber. Let's what is it? The four for, uh four foragers huts. Foragers hut, yeah. Let's go foraging. Let's go foraging. Uh we're we gonna go foraging. Yeah, let's just have you foraging off off the main. No, actually not there because I didn't want to uproot a tree. Nice. Can assign more people to the granary. I feel like we're going to need to assign someone to the forager's hut or the storehouse. How do I get more people? Take your you can be the forger, yeah. Love it. I've now got <laughs> willing and ready volunteers in Twitch chat. Like, I volu I want to be the forger. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> Love it. All workers. So you can change priority as well. That's cool. Um, I feel like, actually, I'm going to drop off a worker from the logging camp. Just for the moment. Just so that we've got... Um, another person free to work on the store uh, on the storehouse family's that permanent job will work on construction and repair yeah nice Burby chuckles thanks for subscribing prime 14 months <laughs> draw off your face yeah the the ability to like customize and build plots is great and also like i know they they were saying the reason why they've done it that way is because that's far more historically accurate for crafting these little plots and maneuvering them around and stuff like that it looks far more historically accurate so yeah there's been a there's been a lot of um a lot of attention to detail and research done for this game yeah, no awkward lines as well. You can customize it so it fits in perfectly with your with your wanderings. I like how that we've made the hitching post like the unofficial uh, center of the town square. You can change road curvature and everything. That's amazing. Oh, look at this. Development as well also. Um, Lion Town. There we go. Now it's now it's better. Yes, yeah, so there's research as well, which obviously isn't in this build. Policies, production. That's there's just so many. There's diplomacy as well. Um, I don't know if they've if they've changed it since I last saw a video on it, but it was essentially to send when you were crafting like a diplomatic message. Essentially, it was you were crafting a message like there was a little scroll on a scribe bit of parchment, and it was writing out your choices as you selected them. Like I'd like a you know a trade agreement, and then you would send off a, a, a message. So much, so cool, so so cool. Lion Hearth or Lion Rock? I mean, Lion. Okay, Lion Hearth does sound better, way better actually than uh, than Lion Town. I like Lion Hearth. Lion Hearth. Thank you, uh, Azelgrim. Welcome to the Lion Hearth. Lion Rock is also pretty good. I just can't. I can't. I just want to like walk through the woods. Look at it. It's glorious. Imagine like following following little villagers off on their own little stories and adventures that they craft just through wandering the forest. And coming out on this nice little clearing and you see oh, what's this? A lovely settlement ahead. This, yeah, this is just so detailed. You know what? I can already, I can already 
tell this demo is going to upset me. And you're probably thinking, well, how could the demo upset you? It's going to upset me in that the, after the 10th, I won't be able to play it anymore <laughs> until they do their next demo or early access or something like that. I can already tell this is a massive time sink and I just want to live here. I'm really a big fan of this UI as well. Like, I've tried not to get overhyped with all the, the videos and the, the previews and stuff that I've seen of Mana Lords. And obviously, you know, it's by no means perfect. The, the devs, you know, definitely appreciate all the feedback people have given them so far. But just the, the scope and scale that they're going for with this. This is... This is going to be amazing. I, I cannot wait to just lose so many hours in this. Below the forge's hut. Yay! Right, so he's pop a, um, a, a forger. No, sorry, a forager. I can speak. Oh, so Tom's been assigned here. Tom, I need I need you to be to elsewhere, but um, we won't rename you. Who was it that was going in here? I'm trying to remember. Ah, ah. Who who put dibs in on this? Where have we gone off to? Oh, over, all the way over there. Lovely weather. Oh no, my supplies! They're going to be ruined! <laughs> Please say they put them all in the granary. Ah, uh, the bread is fine. The bread is fine. Right. There you go, Marius. Oh. There you go, Marius. Right. Um, Tom, I, I don't know if I can... Yeah, there we go. Tom is spare at the moment because I'm probably going to have Tom work at the storehouse. That lightning's supposed to get a cry. How is the sound, by the way? Do we need to lure anything? Oh, we're all sounding good. I don't have any builders. I've got one assi unassigned. I've got Tom actually ready to go. I might chuck another woodworker out. Another lumberjack. Sounds good. Noise. We had a good run, Zephus. Look at that mighty ox. Albrick. Yeah, five homeless family. I'm trying to uh, house you. I need to complete these first, so I'm assuming, before I can kind of make headway. The lightning was sudden, but not too loud. Good. I mean, public order's good. Approval, not so much. We don't have any water access. Yeah, we need, we need you guys working on this. Go on. Chop, chop, Fuzzy Joe and uh, SM. Hang on, wait. SM, you're meant to be working in the granary. I guess you're 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 helping construct because there's no food to put in there. <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm. Time to find a good tree and soft ground. You enjoy finding a soft tree, Grace fan. Oh, look, you got a little bucket and everything. Off grabbing your berries. Have realised it might have been a better idea to put the forager hut near the berries. He's got a bit of a long walk to go. Can I stay with his drink? Didn't check the resource, did I? Silly lion heart.
Number of months before supplies run out. Uh oh. Yeah, we should have some berries soon. Might need to apply more people to the foragers hut. Quest completed! A message! The humble beginnings. Your supplies are dry and secure, and the first stage of work is done. The stories you tell your people around the fire of the many dangers of the world, from beasts to blights, strange tales about foxes who go on pilgrimage, or small creatures who spin gold from sunset to sunrise. They tell these stories to put common names to their fears. Soon they'll teach these stories to their own children. It's time to bring wives and children to the settlement, now that they can take shelter in proper homes. For your lands to prosper and grow, you'll need not only workers, but families. Objectives are to construct a well and construct a burbage plot. Well, we've already constructed one or got one on the go. We need to do a well, though. Humble beginnings objective. We have a year. We need to construct a well. Well, well, well. Iron ore. Have the well right there. Oh, look, we can see. No artisans, retinue, livestock. <gasps> we can rename the, the ox! It can be done! Mr. Barcode Man, you've been asking for it. <laughs> Mr. Barcode Man. <laughs> oh my days. Isn't that the best? Okay, yeah, this game is officially the best game ever. <laughs> oh yes. My viewers and subs can live out their fantasies. As oxen. Thank you, Ty. <laughs> Draw off your face. Amazing. Uh oh, the wolf tech just sold me as well. Thank you, Wolf Tech. Also, yeah, to level up, we can't see the technology there, but to next level small village. We're a settlers camp right now. We need five burbage plots. I guess we just slap down a few more burbage plots, really. Um, Anyone know how I rotate the uh, the house position? You told me a while ago, but I was in medieval fantasy land. My apologies. I was having a great time. Yeah, how do I rotate? I know you can rotate it. A oh, once placed, it'll give you the option. Ah, uh, there we go. Thank you. Boom. I'm making some pretty generous large plots here, actually. Slap that one in there. Too small. Okay. Oh, it can't. It can fit there. Yeah, you know what? Do that, because then I'm going to slap a road through here. I want to whack another another one, because that'll be one, two, three, four. Get our fifth one. Oh, God, look, you, I love how you can... It snaps around the road. That is freaking... Oh, I can get two in there if I wanted to. Oh, yeah, I love it when you... 
spread it out like that. Nice little narrow one. So let's give them one big plot together. Nah, let's give them this, let's squeeze in a little one there. Oh, that's so satisfying as a system. That is bonkers satisfying. Yeah, you can have it snap to roads. You don't have to have it snap to roads, but you can. If you if you see here, it's got a little tooltip that says snap to roads. That's so good. Oh, seriously, who do I who do I need to whisper sweet nothings to to um keep access to this? <laughs> Although it, there's no save save function, so uh, every time you quit out, you got to start again. Need to make the plots a bit bit a uh, bit longer so they have expect oh yeah so they can be built larger yeah peasants are coming to your village that's great but watch out for your supplies hungry and cold peasants can rebel oh no someone's got a wife in town try building a hunting camp There's loads of loads of them there, so let's build a hunting camp. Demolish that. I didn't want to quite place it there. Love how it naturally folds around the side of buildings. That is very very nice god that thunder as well got a fair few berries off with his bucket Look at the puddles forming. We've got the well. Well, well, well. We can have a vegetable garden. I won't do that just yet, though. Oh, Tom, looks like you've got a got a wife there, Barbara. Tom's got a wife. Barbara, where are you? Barbara. Congratulations, Tom. You have a wife. <laughs> yeah. Don't know if you knew or not. That should be done soon. Then we could have a couple of hunters done. That one's nearly up and running. Look, they've got a little... Little toilet. Poop shack. I love it. Yeah, you can rename people from the from the people tab yeah oh yes All right hunting cap is up tom you're now a hunter 
And so is Fuzzy Joe. So we don't have anyone spare to build stuff, so... I'll have to take one of you away. It was Tom. Tom is our labourer. Oh, no. We've had another one come to the village. Dix has come to the village. Constructing. Barbara's waiting. What can Barbara do? What can we get Barbara to do? Oh, they're done, done by family, so they all have the same job, I guess. Maybe we need to give Tom a job and then Barbara will help out. Do we know if the ox can die? Asking for a friend. Um, I don't know. Maybe? There's no hovel. Tomorrow, find a new home. Or town. He's going for a hunt. Go on, mate. Knock. Loose. What have we got here? Plants new trees. That's that's good. Farm. We can make a field. Green is best. So we'll have like a little field down here, I guess. Bread. Farm. Oh, field size. Oh, that's cool. Not enough workforce for this size field yet. I don't think I'll do the field just yet. I don't want to overwhelm the workforce. Whenever you have, set, uh, shall we say, less important production buildings, you can tick the hourglass rather than signing people to allow some... Keeps the, uh, okay. That one. Enable idle laborers. Settings control whether peasants should use this building as a temporary job when they're idle. You can set a hunting limit. Ah. That's good. So it won't knock out the whole resource the whole that's clever skinning away looks tasty Red Tommy thanks for subscribing to one sub for three months. <laughs> Draw off your face. Saw this game. All of a sudden blow up on Twitch. So yes, today's the first day its demo has been out. Um, there's a playable demo for the next uh, week until the 10th of October as part of the Steam Next um, thing on Steam. Um, I think it's all about like highlighting up and coming uh, games and things like that. which is really cool. Um, this this game is still in its, in its early stages, but yeah, it's all right. it, to me, it's going to be a massive deal. It's going to be insane when it's done. Yeah, we need the Burbage. Burbage pots are being worked on. We've got those two as well. Got some meat in the pantry and some pelts. Nice any of that making its way over to the granary running low on bread my lord we've got some meats all right let's uh fast forward it a bit two homeless families 
Not for much longer. That one's been done. Just feels like such like a... Just feels like an actual little village, isn't it? Love it. Oh, got another, another pop in there. Yeah, more of you getting wives. Lovely. So look at it. It just, it's just come alive. Settlement level increases. Huzzah! Comforts and conveniences. As you walk the perimeter, surveying your village with pride, a woman walks past you. She's bent nearly double under a sack. You ask how long she's been walking and she tells you it takes her half a day now to get all the food she needs for her family uh, from the hunters and farmers around the village. If only there was a marketplace where your people could acquire food, clothing and firewood, they would be happier and have more time for other work. So we need to get two... No, sorry, we need to get three level two burbage plots, one food stall, one firewood stall and one clothing stall and we have 1,825 days. Many, many years. <laughs> Good news, I found some red hot chilies in the forest for you, my lord. <laughs> um, I I might try and do another stream of this end of end of the week. Um, but the thing is, it doesn't save your progress. Um, in this demo. So I don't, I don't know. It would probably just be repeating the same stuff. Yeah, this is, this is just a demo. So it says early access demo 0.5.1.1. Um, it's not got all the, the game features in right now. Like there's no, none of the warfare or army combat stuff, but um, a good chunk of the economic and industrial stuff's in. I mean, just, just look at what we've built already. Like, imagine... You know, no, you know what? Hang on. Visit mode. Look at me just walking through my little village. How amazing is this? Just... It just feels alive. Look at my sh fancy shoes as well. I love it. Oh... The granite, can I? I'm guessing I can't go in the granary. No. Can't go in it. <gasps> I can go in the burbage plot. Oh, nice. I really need to use your. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Nobody watch. I'm just. I'm just doing something in here. Lovely. Don't go in there for a bit. <laughs> Looks and feels very similar to Ostrov. I've not. I've never checked that out. Um, Ed. Families join one of the settlers in the Burbage plot. Uh, so next residential upgrade. Yeah, so let's get a uh, let's get a marketplace. Market area. Food stall. Oh, you can just whack them all over the place here. Nice. I think. Uh 
Go. Slap that all in there. Just give me some big King Come Deliverance vibes. For like just the world that's created from this. I made such a messy road there with the ox cart. But it does it does feel very real. Loving it. Oh, is she foraging? Yes. I think she is. She had a bucket. Let's fast forward a bit. My plans, but I will 100% be playing the crap out of this game once it comes out. Yeah, it'll be a mainstay of my. Uh... Let's go, people. A mainstay of my channel content once it's out for sure. Hey, give us a right. hand, We've assigned someone to all of those. We don't have anyone free right now. Expose storage. Oh, okay. Are we... Oh, look, he's bringing back a deer. Keep pressing X by mistake. Which stops the game. Oh, we need someone working in the storehouse. Yeah. Yeah. Better not be using my berry bucket. <laughs> She's transporting some... Barbara is transporting some meat. We have got loads of food and we've got loads of meat now. I feel like I should actually make a woodcutter lodge as well. Let's, go. Let's do that. All right, what do we need to do? We've got the stalls. We need to get my Burbage plots up to rank two. So does that mean... How do we do, how do, we do that? We make it bigger or... Oh, upgrade to level two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need to find ones that can be upgraded. Veggies. All the requirements must be met. Oh, so I need more food types, do I? How come you guys are willing to be upgraded? I'm sorry, Bilbo. I'm not my my ad setup's only set to like one run one run one ad per hour, so it's probably just Twitch throwing out like a load of extra pre rolls and stuff. I'm sorry. Um, was that still not upgrade? Oh no, upgrade to level two. Oh, that was just add. That was the extension. Oh, all the requirements must be green. Well, surely vegetables will make them green. I mean, food right now, we've got berries and we've got meat. So a vegetable garden garden will help that. I think it's mainly, it's neat. we need more food, don't we? That's the major requirement that everyone has. Okay, so let's look at... We could try and do some farming. And we could get some bread going over, going, going on. <clears throat> No, the gold stars is the level of food you have. Oh, really? So why why can't these guys get them? How do I upgrade then? 
Got enough wood. <clears throat> I need clothing and entertainment. Oh, do I have to get all of them up to tier three? I would have thought this, the spots would have been across all of them. Okay. Very well. So we need a church and we need what sheep or we need a tanner tannery yeah pelts and then a weaver no oh, no that'll be wool yarn and flax You need level two food, level two clothing, one entertainment, and one faith. Uh, right. So I was looking at the, the dots, the requirements are met. So I've got level two food because I'm up to green. But the dots are how much of that I've got. I've got up to, up to three. They've got access up to three food. They've currently got two, although what's why is it red? I'm getting the hang of it, I think. Right, okay. Right, right, right. Let's get a Uh, I'm thinking I don't want to build this road around the back of the storehouse. I'm going to build a can of that. Need someone else on that. Hmm. <clears throat> Red is loss of approval if I don't have it fulfilled. Ah, right. But I do have it fulfilled. Okay. You say this sun or fire above? You sell your berries, mate. Oh, look, planting vegetables. Oh, that one will get some uh, some free manure. Hey, one black fly, him. Fast forward for a bit now. Need to wash your berries. I think that's my problem with this. I'm uh, I could quite happily sit back on like one speed and just watch my little village go around, but we need to uh, increase the speed a bit. Bit more progression. I finished my tannery. Food. Got a lot of meat. We 
we got any firewood? No. We need something in there. Knock you out and have idle workers work there. Imagine this demo of a game is made by Woman Studio. Yeah, it's it's insane the work he's done. It's insane. It's done so so well. Seller transporting. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna knock everyone, knock them off the market stalls right now, and set them to idle. How many pelts have we got from the uh, hunter's camp? Ten. And a wild animal carcass. Oh, we can get wool from the sheep farm. Well, I'm having me a sheep. Farm, sheep, farm, sheep, farm. Got the tanner for leather. So if you put to work families, oh, you put, yeah, you put to work families, not single personnel. That's cool, yeah. That is a cool way of doing it as well. Agreed, yeah. And then the. Do they, do they have kids in this, I assume? They pass it on through their generations. Damn chops incoming. <laughs> but we should have some firewood soon. But we need to prepare for winter. We've got we've got the food. We need the fuel. It looks like it's building up okay. Sheep farm. Get to work. Uh, then I've, I've got to build a pasture. Why can't I do that? Too big? directly connected to it, I think. Does it need to be attached to it, perhaps? Let's notice the roads get... Yeah, pretty sure the roads get um, messier, bigger, as the footfall on them increases, essentially. Ah, it needs a road. Thank you. Is it assigned to that one though? So I'll forward it, see if we get any cheapies. 
Need more sheep, my lord. Yeah, Tom, Tom just does a bit of everything. What are you waiting for, mate? Sheep must first be imported by the livestock trader. Oh. Livestock trader, where's that? There we go. Livestock trading post. Come on, people! Get to work! I'll do it. Hey, Bedplan, how you doing? How you settling in with the little one? Are you tired yet? <laughs> Yeah, we've got a mining spot over here for iron. So we can whack a mining pit over it if we want to, or like snap to it. Winter is coming. All right, we've got the firewood. Got a good amount of food. Oh, look, my veggies are growing. A livestock trader in. I haven't really paid attention to the season, so it's gonna be uh yeah. Could be a tough winter this. Amazing. It's on the right. I would like some sheep. Choose what you want to trade as well. All the others. Could export some meat. Can get livestock as well. Winter is coming. Fam, chickens, lambs, sheep, and goats. Um. Imports. How many can I have in that field? 19. Just aim for 10 of them right now. How much gold have we got? Do we even have gold as a resource? Oh yeah, treasury. I have none. Guessing I'm not going to get any. I feel like we could probably... We could probably trade some meat.
Yeah, it's finish off. It's what we're trying to do right now. Finishing off the quest. We need clothing, entertainment, and faith for the uh, objective. UK rain simulator. Yeah. Start my mine and sell the iron. Oh yeah, that's true. Let's try this. Who's this? A traveling merchant. What have you got? What have you got? Welcome to my village. Why aren't you stopping? My lovely little village. The market's a bit messy, but don't worry about it. Everyone has fun. Keep thirty. That gonna work? Find out, I guess. Need more people. Pantry full. Yes, because you guys are doing pretty well at the old hunting. That's why I'm trying to sell some meat. Let the traveling merchant go on his merry way. Can I just go over the full map? Damn, that's awesome. Honeybees. Oh, yeah, there he is. Look at this. That's across the whole map. That's great. I don't actually know if we're selling anything. Stockhouse working. Uh, storing logs. Uh, the granary isn't. Well, it is, it is kind of working, but we don't have anyone in there. We need more people. I think we're a uh, fair ways off release still. <sighs> Have we got any, um, the tannery? Oh, we got, whoa, we've got loads of leather. Maybe I could trade leather as well. Export it. I don't actually know if trading's kind of working. As such, I don't know if we need to build. Do we need to build a market, a trade post? We've got the market area. <clears throat> yeah, demo is on Steam. More people also join when you build more houses. So I just need to build more burbages then. Okay, dokie. That can be done.
Make them bigger as well. Too steep. Oh no. Oh yeah, because you've got the gradient and everything. That's cool. Slap a load of them down. Let's see if that helps me bring in more people. Winter is coming. Yeah, I can't. Third destination, yeah. Won't let me do it. I don't know if trade. I think it says work in progress on the tooltip, so maybe it's not there. Oh, yeah, the last few need to be rotated. All right. through that. That's all right. Got a nice little setup down here. See if that brings in more. That's brought in more people. Cool. Yeah, I think trading is quite working. Oh, yeah. Cells passing. Yeah. Here we go. So we need the. I guess I could have sworn there was one of these. Not enough resources. It's snowing. You definitely need more timber. Um, I am going to take your firewood production and say. Hop in here. We need more workers here. Need more wood, my lord. Seasonal resources, yeah. So you guys might as well come off the forger's hut. Because there's no point now. The village is expanding. personal money is. Where's regional wealth? Oh, there it is. Yeah, for imports. So, we need one of these first. We're good on... We're, uh, we've got plenty of food. Winter is coming. Oh my god, you get snow drifts. <gasps> Look at the snow actually building up. Oh, and it's actually, it's actually building up as well. Look. That's not just flat. That's actually, like, building up a depth to it. Oh, that's sick. Attention to detail there. All across the market. Oh my god, look at it. This game is gorgeous. Love it. It's a slippery. You see the peasant slip down the hill. Yeah. Whee! Peasant tobogganing. One unassigned. Okay, well, can I add more to the... No, we've got two in the logging camp. Okay, let's add someone back to the woodcutter lodge. Now we've got two of them working on log. I mean, maybe I just need to do them all there, to be honest. Don't go north of the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Where are my little, little... 
Got like my little hilltop village. I love it. Proper little village. Try and get some farming done down here in the spring. We've got some mining going on as well. Pantry is full. Not, not this pantry. Not this pantry. Let's add a worker Let's in there. Work. Got a good amount of tanning, haven't you? But you're nearly full. Do you get to build a manor for the Lord? Uh, I don't. I don't actually. Oh, yeah. yeah administration and military. Um, so, yeah. Manor house. And build it with a bailey wall. Tax collector. Garrison tower. And a gatehouse. Thank you, Hero Anonymous. Anonymous. Scrub your table sub three, six months. <laughs> Draw off your face. Thank you. Thank you. This is gorgeous. Loving it. Uh, have we got enough timber yet? No. Need more timber, my lord. I'm going to add for another work worker here. there. Because why are you procrastinating? Why aren't you... Why aren't you chopping trees down? Right, your storage is full. Do you want to, uh... I feel like, do I need, maybe need another ox? Come I can't on, get any more. Come on. I feel like the oxen's carrying everything. <laughs> or is it that all of our timber is going straight to building these? Probably. The... I, I don't know if, if they... If... You have kids in the game, to be honest, or if you just attract more, more population. That one's got six timber in storage. So why don't why have we not got more shown up there? Or is it already that timber has that already been assigned to the building? Getting low on food. Should be okay. Food stall damaged. Many difficult challenges in the game mechanics. Uh, it's all been fairly straightforward. I think the. the thing that took the longest for me to get my head around was the requirements for upgrades but i've now can see what's required pipped and all that that's working i'm just trying to get some sheep but i don't know if i can or not um, let's see if we can get um trading post i've got to wait till i've got more timber Once they're done building these, then it should free up our timber production. Right, it's the last one to build there. Let's give me some spare families, though, so that's good. We are out of food. Apparently. And we've still got some food. Sign people to back work. to the forager hut because they'll be working there now. Oh, there's no berries back there. Yeah, I might have to think about farming. Got 
enough resources. My lord. So I need tools. Uh, so iron slabs, because it's iron ore into iron slabs. Okay, so we can't quite do all that just yet. Uh, Elmer. Get me some, some wheat. And you can rotate, rotate, rotate crops. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I know there's no farm building. Um, so did we did the berries not come back? Seasonal resource. Yes. We'll put in more hunters. Otherwise, food's gonna be a problem. I no, I don't think you can put blueprints down and then like kind of build them later as such. Not yet, anyway. And still not enough resources for the trader. Should build up because we don't have anything being built yet right now there we go we have the trader right down there because that's the perfect spot from which all the traders keep coming through here comes the oxen um there is a forester yeah that is just plants new trees. Yeah, I put my, my forager's hut well away from the berries, which was silly. Oh, the berries are back. Just had to wait for them to come back. Should be accessible. Making another oxen. I don't have any spare oxen. I need. I think I need gold or regional wealth to attract more, or to to buy more. If I go to the livestock trader. I'm assuming that targets the amount I have left after I sell it. Hope. Uh, demo is available until next Monday. The 10th. Uh, leave it fallow. Influence. Oh, we're gaining influence. That's good. So yeah, food, they're sorted. It's the clothing, entertainment of faith. Only thing is I'm thinking about clothing. It's just I need sheep for that. I think, unless I give, do the flax, but then I need iron. Oh, we've got some veggies as well. Nice. They're being harvested from this garden. Nice. Good veggies. So 
So how much ore have we got? Oh. Crap tons. bit there that's fine it's all good it's looking good happy little village yeah the roads are messy let's let's not worry about the roads let's let's pretend let's pretend we didn't do horrible roads let's pretend pretend we did nice pretty roads instead See everyone working to get that up and running. That's cool. Get that built fast. And build the smithy. Let's go, people. So I reckon for that we're gonna need to put in another, another couple of plots. love how like it definitely feels like a very nice natural growth all the way through don't be very satisfying what's that material oh, yeah so much leather so much leather do i need more than one well assuming maybe maybe not Probably only like one per small tap. Maybe you need no, you'd probably need more when it gets bigger, I guess. Oh, tell me if I have water or I guess if there must be a, a range around it. Someone in the smithy. Is there someone over here? Uh no, where is it? Bloomery, you're still trying to find someone. They've come in there, so once this Burbage plot comes up, should be fine. Really wish there was a way to save this now. <laughs> Chicken coop. Don't have the money. Oh no, we are. Well, look, we're getting we're getting wealth. Oh, there's so many things I do differently. So many things I do differently now. Can I even get a sheep? Not yet. I'm assuming once it hits that, then it'll then it'll do it. Yeah, we're trading quite a lot of our meat, or is it we trying to trade that much of it? I don't know. Let's trade more leather. Maybe slow that down. I don't know if I got that the right way around or not. To be honest. Downside to no save currently, yeah, because, yeah, it's just a demo. There's so much I, like, want to try and do. Uh, more vegetables. Yeah, it wouldn't be terrible. I mean, I, I we could wait until I've got enough for chickens. Want trucks. Give me wealth. Yeah, so definitely trading post early on. Next time. Uh, 
Don't even bother with the field. Entry is full. Um, not really. Build more granaries or employ more granary workers. I think it's... Whoa, what happened to my well? Did we buy a sheep? Please say we bought... We did! We bought a sheepy! Where's my ship? Where's my sheep? Where's my sheep? Deutsch, thanks for subscribing with Prime. <laughs> Dorothy face. Someone tell me where's my sheep? Following. <gasps> Sheepy! Miss the sheep. Ah. Uh. Yes, yeah, it's incredibly satisfying. Incredible. Now, how do I get the sheep into here? Into my sheep farm. Mr. Sheep is waiting. What are you waiting for? Uh, are you following? You're with Mr. Ox. I need to assign more here. Ah, there they. I would love to just wander around and play more of this because it is absolutely fantastic. But I'm out of time. I'm just going to go for a quick little stroll up the hill, survey my village. And that's where we'll we'll end this first look. I'll, I'll see if I can fit in another stream of this later on in the week. Or maybe if the demo's still running next Monday, I might stream more of it then. I'll see if I can find out when it's due to like actually end. But this is a lot of fun. Obviously, we'll have to start again because there's no save. But yeah, I mean, we've only seen a small portion of what Man Lords has on offer. And I'm trying to contain the hype as much as I can. But this is insanely promising. Insanely promising. And yeah, I will be playing the crap out of this game. When it either has another demo, early access, full release, all of the above. Because this is insane. Manor Lords is looking incredibly promising. I mean, my, the outfit on this guy is just so fancy. I wish I could rotate around for those. So we could see his big old bearded face. But yeah, this is such a satisfying medieval city sim. Village sim. I love it. It all feels so alive and so real <laughs> the little outskirts down here like coming into these first little few little cottages wiggling our way up the hill we've got the little like central hub and heart of our village this is 
phenomenal. Best demo I played in ages. And my sheep's finally made it into the pen. It only took all stream. <laughs> finally figured it. I don't know how, but we've, we've finally done it. Mr. Sheep is in the is in the pen. But yeah, we'll be playing more of this. Hopefully they do more demos in the future or we get to see a bit more of like a combat demo because the videos I've seen for it are stupidly satisfying. Um, and if, yeah, if you haven't checked out any Man Lords content from their own official YouTube channel, do make sure you check it out. But yeah, you guys can play it yourself um, on Steam. The demo is available free for all uh, until the 10th of October. So if you've watched this on YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed the edit. Until the next one, take care and ciao for now.